Ronnie, how much pressure do you feel when the offense can't get things going in the passing game to try and get something going in the run game? Uh, I don't feel that much pressure. You know, I'll just leave it to Ryan and the offensive coordinator to uh, handle that part of it. How's your body all the time? It's pretty good. I feel I feel fine actually. So it's pretty it's going pretty good right now. Do you think you can handle that same load with the rest of the pressure you have on Sunday first time in the rest of the Yeah, I mean, you know, that's what that's what training and that's what, you know, being a team player is for to be there for when people need to count on you. Miles and Larry, um, facing a team like New Mexico right now, as down as they are, is there a temptation to go into this game overconfident? Absolutely not. Um you can't go in any game overconfident. You can never go in half stepping because um, they're. I mean, you watch them on film, and they're a lot better than their record speaks. They have uh, the ability to make plays, and they and they do make plays. And um, you know, you can't. You can never do that. You got to treat it like any other game. Uh, they're just the next ones up. We just have to prepare the way that we know that we can. Uh, we can't really be too overconfident. We just lost. Um, there, there's really nothing much to say about it. We were, we're pretty fired up for a win. That team's going to be fired up for their first win. Uh, it's, it's as simple as that. Two teams are going to be sorry, there's really one to win. Why do you guys think you struggled in the first half? You know, especially in this last game, it was really apparent. We don't, uh, <clears throat> we don't really have a concrete answer for that. We're trying to figure it out, too. And, um, you know, we're talking all the time. Coach Long's always talking to us all the time, asking us give, you know, for feedback as to why he thinks that's going on because it's you know it's it's actually been a trend it hasn't just been this past game um you know it's been a trend that we haven't been playing nearly as well in the first half as we have in the second so um it's something that we're gonna uh, talk amongst ourselves about and try to figure out and and, and get right this week in practice pretty much what Ma said we just we just have to keep fighting go, go as hard as we can because it's it's not a good look. The fact that we've been giving up all this, all these yards and these points in the first half, and then come right around the second half and play defense like we know how to, it has to change fast if we want to keep, if we want to win, if we want to be a winning program. Miles, coach mentioned that perhaps at the start of the game you guys were playing on adrenaline, uh, and then by the time halftime that you settle down, you're executing the fundamentals. Is is that a possibility? That there's too much adrenaline at the top of the game. Yeah, I mean it could be a possibility. I think. Anything's really a possibility at this point. We're uh, we're open to any and everything that we can try to figure out as to w what the reason is. Um, but you know, it's just one of those games. That it's you have to play with with energy and, and aggression at all times, and there's there's going to be emotions to it. Um, but you have to keep your head at the same time. So we're gonna we're gonna try to figure it out. Has has coach talked to you about uh, uh, his New Mexico ties? And he said he was emotional his first year playing. There. No, not this week. Um, he hasn't talked to us about that yet. Last year, though, or two years ago, did he, did he tell you about it? Or um, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's one of those things that any any time we play New Mexico, that was their head coach a few years ago, and they're going to be, um, you know, they're going to be wanting to knock him off, and and they're going to come in with a lot of a lot of energy and a lot of passion for the game. So it's just one of those things we got to we got to come in uh, as prepared as possible. Do you notice a change in him at all, or anything? No, no, he's uh, pretty consistent, just like we try to be as players and um, in trying to prepare the same way every week and uh, the same mentality. What concerns you about New Mexico? What, what do they do well? Uh, they're, they're very talented. They have really they have great skill players all across the board. They're they're physical. They just haven't really put it together too well to get a couple wins in there. But they're just as talented as we are. Coach Long did a great job recruiting when he was there. And they, st when Loxley was there, he did a great job recruiting with the athletes that they have. So they're, they're just as talented as we are. It's just about putting it together. Ronnie, can you just reflect back a little bit on that 99-yard run record-breaking uh, run there, the help you had going out and everything? It was, it was a, you know, and a real turning moment in that game. Uh, just talk a little bit about that and what you um, I was just trying to make a play, just uh, trying to get us out of you know their territory and you know, trying to get us in good field position. And it just so happened that you know it was there, and you know I had offensive line opened up a hole. I seen it. Ryan threw a great block, and Colin, you know, he escorted me down the field. So I mean, it's pretty much it wasn't that hard. All I had to do was make a couple people miss and just run. Ninety-nine yard run, 
thousand yards is a long ways. You ever get concerned halfway through it, like, wow, man, I still got a ways to go? <laughs> <laughs> nah, by the, by the time you have way, you, you just saying you got to score. So, I mean, it's, it's you're just going off and drilling by then.